Hi, my name is Lisa Baldwin and I'm doing a pedicure today and I've had my client have his feet in a nice warm um, tub with disinfectant and so it's been softening for the required five minutes or so and now I'm just going to file and shape the nail um, just going to use the clippers to take a little bit of the nail off here and I'm also going to use the file as well. It's important to check with your client what length they like. Some clients like the nail a little bit longer. My client likes the nail a little bit shorter. I've had a look at the the feet and toes to check there's no contraindications and if there were they would be I would be recommend, recommending my client to a podiatrist because as you know there are things that we necessarily the beauty industry can address and they should be addressed by the relevant professional. The nail is a little bit softer after being soaked so it makes it a little bit easier. Just also going to clean the end of the nail. Pulling back the skin around the toe just to get access to the nail. Just going to apply some cuticle oil. Soak. And I'll file the remaining and I'll use a more coarse file just because they're usually the toenails are a little bit more hard so it's working from the side. I've got my protective gloves on, using all the normal work health safety requirements when working with lights fix. I'm going to just use my cuticle, gently push back the cuticle. It's the nail page. You can use an orange stick for this as well. Making a circular motion to move any cuticle that's still clinging to the nail plate. Client doesn't have too much of a problem in this area, so that should be a big job. Just check with my client. Do you want a little bit more off your nail? Just a little bit more? Yes, please. It's important to always check with your client as you're working through. Just 
finalize it all. I'm going to buff the nail now. There's not a lot of uneven ridges on my client's toes, but just a small buffing. Just evens things out a bit. Sweeping motions, just to give a light buffing at the nail. Now, I'm going to apply the callus remover, so I'm just going. So my client has um, just had the soaking and the callus remover, so I've been working on the calluses with the, with the pedi, pedi pad and removed any calluses. There weren't too many on my client's feet, but I was working around the ankles and around the soles of the feet, and I've performed a massage and dried off my client's feet and done an inspection, um, cleaned the nails, and I'm now just ready to just have a final inspection um, and then put a light polish on because my client just wants a clear sort of coat of polish. So I'm just doing an inspection of the nails to see if there's any, any other sort of contraindications or rough edges that need remediation. There's a little bit of a rough nail here I just want to remediate. And it's important to just check because that final inspection can allow you to address any issues that you may not have addressed before. And now I'm going to squeak, making sure there's no additional residue on the nail plate before I apply the polish. Um, I normally would use toe separators, but um, with a uh, male client the toes usually don't require a separator as is usually good movement and they're not usually having the, the layers of colours and requirements for drying as a female client might. So I'm satisfied with those so I'm just going to work from the big toe just applying a light base coat A nice clean nail. It's important if um, it was a female client to make sure that they wore appropriate footwear to allow for the nail polish to dry. My client has a pair of open toes shoes, so but given we're not doing a lot of polish, it shouldn't be a major problem. And I will just let that dry. And in a minute, perform just another top coat. And then let my client have the nail polish dry temporarily usually about five minutes or so and then that was the end of my pedicure thank you
So I'm, I'm just fast forwarding a little bit here and I've basically um, applied the acrylic and I'm just doing the buffing and filing to make sure that everything's blended and away from the cuticle area, side walls, making sure it's all filed with the appropriate file. Quite pleased with that. So I'm now going to lighten it up. And just wipe down So I've now wiped down the extra filings and I'm going to have put some um, formed on because we're going to do uh, an enhancement with a red gel application. So I'm just going to put the foundation on. Making sure that you're sparing with the foundation because you just want a nice cover, but not too much. And as you know, the product shrinks a bit away from the edges, so you need to allow for that. And turn the nail so you can see all of that. Cap the free edge. I was using the one colour application for the acrylic, not the two tone. I'll get my client to put her hands in the. And then I'll just do the top coat and the diamante and we're done. Thank God. Ready? <laughs> oh, we've started. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to apply the first base coat of this beautiful red polish on my client. First coat should be light. And this will cure for a minute in an LED light. dog in the background but don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just applying the second coat. And usually two coats is enough. To get the depth of colour. Nice colour cement. That's the edge. My client has selected a diamante as a feature in the nail, which I'll put on after second coat has cured. My client to cure those for a minute. I've just put the diamante on the feature finger for my client, so I'm just going to secure that. Top coat. I'm 